and others have remaining. So what we're going to do now, thank you for filling out those evaluations. And I'll pretend I don't see you from the house. Right? It's all good. Right, no problem. So, but really, I appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come and do something that's kingdom oriented. It's God's will and God's heart. And so as we're finishing these up, we'll look at these later on. Thank you for that. Again, you're welcome to all the resources that you want. And I pray God's blessing over you. Um, and I just want to pray a charge over you, and then we'll transition into getting ready for this field experience and cleaning up this room and everything. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you. Just pray, Lord, right now, to send these people out. Lord, that you send them into the fields, into their backyards, into their neighbors, into their communities, Lord, into their neighboring towns, the cities. Father, let them be rivers of living water springing up into their communities and beyond. Some you've called to Jerusalem. Some you've called uh, to Samaria, to Judea, and some even to the uttermost parts of the world. Send them and use them mightily for your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Again, yeah, those of you that, that are leading, thank you. Those of you that, that are staying, you're going to help us pick up in a little while. We're going to go to Portal Avenue. We're going to get into that right now. So, it's going to take us, once we pack everything up, I'm thinking it's going to take 15 minutes, 20 minutes to pack up and actually physically drive to Portal Avenue. It's not that far from here. And right now we're at about 337. So, we'll talk for about maybe 20, 30 minutes and then we will clean up and we'll head out. A couple things, if you've never done this before, some of the things we, we already hit on today, just in the regular sessions, other things maybe we do. But you are going, you are going into a uh, very dark area, okay, of the city. That's not to scare you. Um, just hold off on the chairs because it's, you know, we're recording right now. But with, with, with Morrow Avenue, it's not the darkest place, okay? There, there's places in the city that are probably more dangerous, practically speaking. But I have always been drawn to Morrow Avenue because it's kind of a melting pot. You can see, you know, some, some brother said this, Mark, he said, if you haven't seen it, you'll see it on Morrow Avenue. You got that right. I mean, you have a melting pot of everybody. You have the rich, the poor, black, white, Hispanic, yellow, green, homeless, I mean, everything. And that's why I've always been drawn to it, even before we started this outreach. I would go by myself, I would go with others and pray and track. And I've always been drawn to that area of my life. Um, but with that being said, you have to understand that when we go out there, we're going out to battle. We're not battling flesh and blood. Okay? We're, we're battling, like it talks about Ephesians 6, principalities, the rulers of darkness. And you, sometimes you will see a manifest in people. You might tonight. You may, you may not. Some nights are harder, are hotter spirits to speak than others. So with that being said, understand where we're going, number one. So with that being said, practically speaking, you'll have a few options. We'll have a table set up, or we'll have care packages, maybe some gospel tracks, things like that. You can actually, I'll have some commentaries. You can stay there. When my sons come out, usually they hang there. They're 10 and 11, and they'll hang there, and they'll help pass out things like that. People are with the adults there, obviously, for practical reasons. I'm going to pastor. I've got signs. They want to hold signs. Yes. We've got signs you can hold up as well. Some people want to do that. So we have, you can sit at a table with the care packages. We have signs. Myself, I go around the home base because I'm the overseer. I want to make sure I'm taking care of the people, watch the people. Something unusual happens. I mean, we've had many things that need caution happen around there. There's people you need to keep eyes on them. Okay? Um, even the gentleman that drifted in today, actually. And we don't know if he's the one that actually stole the laptop or not, but I told Lily, I'm like, Keep an eye on this guy, stand in the middle, you know, watch your wife and kids there, just keep an eye because we don't know who he is. And we don't want to just, you know, want to kick him out, right? So with that being said, vigilance is key. Vigilance is key. Whenever I went out and I'm not vigilant, you get a little loose, start joking around, something happens. True. So you always have to be mindful of why we're out there. Um, taking pictures, video, you know, I do that a little bit, but not, you shouldn't be doing to the point where it becomes the, the focus point of the ministry. I took some pictures here, I tried to do it discreetly, to put them up on the website, but it shouldn't be a distraction. And yeah, it's another thing to keep in mind, especially in 2021, everybody has a smartphone. Okay? That's something to keep in mind. Also, you can be a street team. And if you're going to be a street team, I want you to go with a leader, like Randy, okay? Because he's done this many times, many places. You can walk the Monroe Avenue a few blocks, and you can engage in passing out tracks, praying for people. Um, 
I remember I went out on a field experience there at Mono Ave with, uh, with a group that we had taught for a semester, and I told the lady and I'm walking over and I go, why don't you pass the next one? She goes, wow, I've never done this before. And she actually passed it out. First time in her life she's ever passed it out. That's all she just passed it out. She didn't start a conversation or anything like that. So we're not going to make you do anything you don't want to do. Okay? We might encourage, like I did with Shay, or ask you to think about doing something. Same thing with open prayer. At 5.30, we're going to have open prayer on the mic. We're going to pray like this right out into the atmosphere of what will happen. But you don't have to do that if you're not comfortable with it. Anyone who wants to, you will. You can. You just go and pray. Bob will be just playing the guitar. Um, we love him out there as a worship leader. He does a great job just for that area. Beautiful. And we'll come in, and people will just rotate through and pray. They say, well, why not preach? Maureen says, it's the third year of our web. Well, every ministry got to trust the leader. And as I prayed about this, here was the Lord's put in my heart. The, the ground is still broken up. We haven't completely possessed this land yet at Wonder Web. How do I know that? I just found out from our waitress at Apple Peace last night that her mother's boyfriend's son got murdered outside of Marks, Texas, last there two weeks ago. That's how I know we had one back. That was a confirmation. What breaks it up? Prayer. 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 You know, we'll preach out there eventually, but we're going to be preaching in signs and tracks and stuff. But I just feel the Lord wants us to keep praying. Keep praying. Randy and I go there, we used to go there, sit down in the Bible tents right in the theater alcove that you'll see and just pray. In the daytime, no prayer, no evangelism. We're talking. Okay? You can sit at the table. You can go on a street team. You can hold a sign. You can stand next to God and just worship and sing with Him if you want. Or you can just come out and just watch. You can do any of those things. Okay? And all of those things are beneficial. Okay, all of those things are beneficial. So, does anybody know where the Mono Ave iconic Alpo Overhead Theater is? What I'm talking about? You, other than the, the, the people who live right around the city. Okay. Well, just to give you some background, part of the reason that this is an interesting spot, and maybe there's still a battle that goes on, is that movie theater was a pornographic theater for many, many years, and it's lying dormant for at least 12 years now, literally dormant. So we set up there. And the first time we did it, I was a little concerned, right? This fellow of the authority said, well, they came by and they're like, oh, yeah, whatever you need, do whatever you want. Total property. Right? But they just gave us paper. So they have no problem with us setting up right there to worship our little table. We have an overhang tent, which someone's using right now. So we have freedom in that sense. But just be ready for people to come up. Maybe that uh, will look different, act different, might be controlled by a different spirit. Uh, no need to fear if, if you are unsure about something, come see one of us, one of the leaders, and uh, just kind of call us over. But there's definitely no reason to fear, but there's definitely need to be visual, okay? Because it's not, uh, well, we already saw today, somebody got their laptops going out of our, it's, it's just the way it is, okay? It's not the same thing as going out into, uh, I don't know, dancing in Kansas City, and, uh, you know, there's houses one mile apart, it's not like that, it's a different, you gotta know your setting, you gotta know where you're going into. So those are things, some things to keep in mind, like bottom waters as well. Of course. And any questions about uh, Monroe Avenue? About Monroe? We do this usually the second Saturday um, of the month. Why are we doing it right now at 5 p.m. instead of second Saturday at 8 p.m. for this course? For you to at least have an opportunity to put wheels on what you just learned. For you to actually take a tool out of the toolbox and use it if you want to. Okay? So any questions about that? Any questions about Monroe Avenue specifically? Uh, if we're honest, I mean, who has a little reservation about going? Plan on going, but you have a little reservation about it, just so we know. It's not to embarrass you. Okay, and, and Mandy emailed me about that, which I appreciate. But the good news is, you've got the big, strong husband, you've got a six foot seven guy. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. So I, and I appreciate that. I, honestly, I think it's unhealthy if you go out to these places without a little bit of concern. Because that's where you get yourself in trouble. You always have to have a little bit of. Uh, uh, reverence, caution, because if not, that's usually when you get yourself in trouble. Okay? So no need to worry. Yeah, I totally understand. That. It is exciting to know that you're going to be there. Totally understand. Okay? Um, other questions, comments, concerns about Monroe? If not, then uh, we, we're going to break down the tables and the chairs and everything else, and then we'll pack it up. Good to go. We're going to be 